It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video in VR. Today is a special day for me and a special video for you guys as well. This is the first time I get to use my uh, Knuckles controllers, which of course show up as, as Valve Index controllers in game. But I am actually currently using an Oculus Rift headset with Valve Index controllers. Big thanks to Cousin Sherry uh, for uh, showing the video on how to get these set up with the Rift. And um, I'm currently getting it set up with all of the sort of cross-platform abilities and I'll show you that in a moment as well. I decided to start with the Knuckles ones since they're the sort of a bit of a DIY uh, build going on here. Uh, firstly, let me just get this calibration out of the way. So I've actually set up some default controls here. The menu button in-game will be B on the left-hand controller. So the usual calibration, click that and then touch the ground, click that and we're done. And then you've got a nice uh, sort of simpler menu this time around nice and clean and you can see these are oh i didn't i forgot about that they sort of will collide in reality as well <laughs> completely forgot about oh my god the battery's going low i better do this video quickly anyways so you can walk around and i've set up proper controls for the grips and stuff so these are actually physics objects right now this is using the hybrid presence system uh, but with hands only and I've made a lot of changes to the actual body structure system as well. Um, now, there's no visible body right now, but the actual movement system and everything is quite well built. So you can see here, I'm actually able to grip things with this hand and there is a sort of physical limit here. And you can see I can just <laughs> punch him about. Uh, now you can see here, this is actually a cross-platform test, this build here, this room. Um, as you can see, it shows the platform, which is OpenVR in this case, which is uh, Steam VR for those of you who don't really know the behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, the headset, it's detected as Oculus Rift CV1. The controllers, it's detected as Knuckles Index, which is why it's showing the models. Uh, so it's actually got four models inbuilt, which I've made custom skins for, as you can see. Um, and they all work completely cross-platform. So you can see here, these are the actual uh, names that it's come from the actual driver. So it's detected OpenVR's controller Knuckles DV. As you can see, I'm not using Index, I'm using Knuckles controllers, uh, which are the actual prototype just before the final release versions. Um, and again, for the right hand side. And you can see here, it does actually collide with walls, as you can see. Which means, of course, that I can put my hand... Oh, that's a bit tall, a bit tall for me. I can put my hand on something here and my other hand and of course just climb my body up now i made some actual changes to the way it lifts itself over a ledge which means it actually has this sort of body changing um, mechanism where it will allow you to sort of clamber over um, even though your head sort of there you can see that i'm able to clamber further past the actual edge of the thing and it's very very smooth between them uh, now i actually have a button for switching the controller models this is for those of you who may not have either of these and uh, sort of want to test out with different controllers. This thing, this lever itself um, is actually not functional, but I'll probably add a function or something with a few sort of tests before I release this build. Uh, I should be releasing this with this video, so don't worry about that. Uh, but you can see, I can just sort of grab it and it feels pretty real um, with these things because you're sort of actually making that grab mechanic go on about. And you can see here, it's, uh, it's an actual physics object, which means <laughs> I can smack this guy, I can roll him about. Let's do some actual running about and get up on top of this area. Like I said, it's completely um, a, a basic system here, but it is the sort of full hybrid presence build coming up here. And the reason I'm making this demo before I do any sort of complex stuff with the actual presence and, and, and body stuff um, is because I wanted to make sure that these, this functionality, this cross-platform ability is working for everyone. So very, very soon, I'll probably just stop the game and switch over to Oculus mode um, while, you're, while you're watching the video. So it, it's literally that quick and it, it's that automatic um, for the system. Now this is using the new uh, sort of SteamVR actual uh, actions system which means that you can change it. You can rebind everything if you want your grips to be more based on the pressure system, uh, the sort of pressure grips, then you can use that instead. Right now, I'm just using the closed hand. Uh, you can't see any of the functionality my, it, yourself, um, unfortunately. Uh, I just haven't, I haven't impl implemented that. Uh, now, the controls themselves will move smoothly uh, with the exception of when you're moving with them and you're moving your body. So this is within room scale only. 
When you move the, the, the player in game, it won't actually do that. You can see they're perfectly smooth. In fact, um, if I was able to get the Steam VR screen up, I'd be able to show you that um, they are pretty closely tracked. In fact, when you when you actually go to the menu, which is very hard to press, you can see this is actually the non-physics uh, objects. This is actually the non-physics ones. And you can tell because <laughs> there we go. And then there we go. So I'm switching between the menu and the physics objects and you can see they're very, very, very closely accurately tracked. Now there's a few more things to actually do. I can climb this thing, for example, and this is purely based on pressure. So, so right now you can see if I just jump, whew, this is how high I'll go about. Uh, now you can see that the camera is going through the world a little bit. I'll be working on that, don't worry. And uh, there we go. So this is how high, high I can actually jump. Now let's see when I sort of push myself up this thing. I can clamber up and actually nearly get there. Uh, it's a bit weird using uh, Oculus Touch controllers visibly when I'm actually using the, the sort of knuckles. Now these things are actually quite cool because they do have that shape. Um, I've actually put a custom shape on each of these for the collisions. So you can actually clamp on like that. You can grip with these uh, sort of Vive controller style. Uh, by default, you'll get the controllers that you're using. Um, it, it defaults to the left one. If it doesn't see anything for the left one, it'll use the right one. Uh, but both controllers will always show the same models. So this by default would be the one for me. Now, I did say that I'm going to show you how quickly I can cross-platform this. So I'm going to stay in the actual build. Let me just take these controllers off now. And I'm going to switch, while you're watching, into the Oculus board. So I'm taking the headset off. off. You'll hear a bit of weirdness. Let me pause the game here. Oh, stop the game. And as you can see on the right hand side here, I'm just going to put the Oculus as the primary source for the tracking for the VR. And as you can see now, put my headset back on. And now we are once again in game. I'm now using Oculus touch controllers. You can see they've been detected straight away. I can press the menu button, touch the ground. And now you can see platform Oculus. And I've got all my controls again. That quick. Yay. Cross-platform controls working perfectly. I'm so glad. It took me a very long time to actually get that done. You can see here, it's detected the Oculus controllers. This is the actual name coming from the from the system. And it doesn't say OpenVR anymore. Um, and again, that's all, that's all working fine. So now you can just, with the Oculus Touch controllers, it should switch and show you the Oculus Touch uh, Rift S controllers as well, if you're using a Rift S. And of course, you can just switch between the models if you want. You'll feel a little bit of a, an off-aligned sort of feel um, when you switch between the controllers uh, because obviously they're not designed to match up with each other, especially across the platforms. But yeah, so I've actually set up some controls for the Oculus controllers on SteamVR as well. So if you want to do that, if you want to run the Oculus, uh, Oculus Touch controllers onto a SteamVR version of the game, then you can do that. You can just uh, run it with OpenVR mode. And uh, that pretty much finishes this build. Um, I want you guys to test this out. There is a bit of stuttering problems with objects like these spheres, uh, but I shall solve that. I'm sort of working on a way to make lighter objects feel a little more motion friendly. And it does actually collide with things on the floor as well. As you can see, I can actually kick things about this time rather than just automatically stepping on them and bouncing off into the into nowhere. And that pretty much settles this video, really. Um, thanks very much for watching. As I say, try this build out. I've been dying to get this one out because after this, I'm going to be starting uh, me proper game. Hopefully, I'll be making an actual game this time, uh, probably for sale. And you can see here, let's just do a little bit of climbing, get to the top and do a little slide down that thing as well. Here, in fact, as I can't really make the jump, you can actually push off this wall on the right hand side and then push yourself up. And again here, whoosh, there we go. You just sort of push yourself <laughs> and then I walked off the side and then you just push yourself off the back and clamber yourself up. And of course down this thing. Whee! There we go. That, uh, that solves it. That solves it. That's the whole, the whole cross platform problems fixed. I'll uh, hopefully be up updating the Spiderini sample with this uh, cross platform checks as well. Uh, so that the index controllers work properly on there. 
and I'll probably try it out with my with my own index controllers or uh, DV prototypes, uh, just to see that it works properly as well. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.